let's look at the actual rule for order of operation. Mathematically, we're going to do our parentheses first, and that showed from that last example where we had the 3 plus 2 inside the parentheses, and we had to group those first. Then we would do anything with the exponents. That would be a square, a square root, um, anything along that line is going to have precedence over just a multiplication problem. Then we do multiplying and dividing. And we found that from our representation that we had to do the groups first. And the groups represent multiplication. Then the very last thing we do is our addition and subtraction. Okay, to help you remember, we have an acronym, and some people prefer to think of it as PEMDAS. I myself prefer to think of it as P-E-M-D-A-S, because I remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, one thing that this does not tell you is when you have, like, only multiply and divide. You must always start from the left and work to your right. Likewise with the addition and subtraction. If you only have multiply or add and subtract, you again are going to work from your left, go to your right, just like you were reading a book. That's how we would do the math. Otherwise, you've got to do the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or the PEMDAS, whichever you prefer to think of. Okay, let's look at some applications of please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. As I look at the first problem, 6 minus 2 times 2, I know that there are no parentheses, there are no exponents, there is a multiplier and divide. I have to do the 2 times 2 first. So what I've got now is 6 minus the 4, which is equal to 2. If you do not do the multiplication first, you're going to get a different answer. Um, this is standard rules, so this is how a calculator thinks. That's why you want to learn this process. Looking at the next one, again, I don't have parentheses, don't have exponents, but I do have a multiplication and division. So I've got 5 plus, go ahead and multiply it out, 5 plus 12 then is 17. Notice that it doesn't matter right or left, you must follow the order of operation. A couple more examples for you. Okay, now notice here I only have addition and subtraction. And remember when you only have addition and subtraction, you're going to do from left to right. So I've got 10 minus 3 is 7, plus 4 is 11. down at the bottom. Oh, I've got a bunch. I've got a division, an addition, and a division. So I'm going to have to do the divisions first. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then I can come over and add the answers. Okay, let's look at some problems with parentheses. The top one here We've got, first of all, I'm going to do inside the parentheses. But inside the parentheses, I have two different operations. I have a division, and I have an addition. Notice I've got to do the division first, and then I will do the addition. So I'm going to take this, 24 divided by 8 is 3, and then that is still inside my parentheses of the 3 plus 5, and then still will divide by 2. 3 plus 5, doing inside parentheses first, divided by 2, gives me an answer of 4. Okay, looking at, oh my goodness, we have double parentheses. So the rule is we're going to start on the very inside first and work our way out. So that means I'm going to do this part first. So that means I'm going to have 12 minus this parentheses still here. I've only done that one first, plus 6. I've got to do inside the parentheses first, so I'm going to have 12 minus 11, which is 1. 